Jack Johnson back along with you for, with more Southern Extreme Wrestling. And you know, we've got this tag team matchup coming up, the Wild Side and the Regulators. And before every match, I try to catch up with the wrestlers and do a little interview, you know, see what's going on. But catching up with some wrestlers is like catching, you know, lightning in a bottle. And, and well, some of the wrestlers like white lightning in a bottle, and maybe that's part of the problem. But I did happen to meet up with the Regulators and the Wild Side, and we're going to talk to them right now. Hello again, everybody. Jack Johnson along with you for Southern Extreme Wrestling. We're waiting for the show to start here tonight. We've had some exciting wrestling here in Southern Extreme. Lots of other federations are excited about Southern Extreme as well. And I believe we got some fans that are coming up here that uh, getting here early for the show and quite a loud car. There. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's the Wild Side. What's happening, guys? Why do you follow us? Or is it the, the Notre Dame uh, recruiting crew? Why is there time I pull around the corner, I go to stores. It's Chris Calloway. Follow me around. I'm getting sick of this, Jack. Yeah. What do you think about this garbage? You get tired of it. It's, look, it's Tiger Woods. I see the black Nike Swish. Are you doing all right, Tiger? You know, won the Masters. You're pretty funny, ain't you? You took his green. You took his green jacket. Man, it turned it in for green shades. You just beat up Jack. Well, no, we ain't gonna beat him up right yet, cause I got something to say. You know, we have beat up Omega. How many times would this be tonight? This is about four times. It all started about four or five weeks ago when he tried to wrestle my partner here. We beat. We beat him beyond. I mean, just. Recognition. Recognition. Couldn't even recognize him after the match. Before the night was through, he's already coming trying to beg us, trying to be in Wildside, and I'm getting sick of this garbage. And then the very next week after that, Jack, what'd he do? He went out finding a partner and come trying to fight Wildside. I don't know what he did. We sent him to the hospital. So now we hear he's got some six foot, 300 pound psycho Mike or whatever his name is. What is this cigar? He does have Omega, does have a partner. Yeah. And he, he is a big he wants, man. He wants to fight us, he'll see us again. Well, we're fixing to give him an extreme wrestling lesson he won't never forget. After tonight, so. they'll both have matching wristbands and matching beds up here at them, uh, what do you call it, Mothers of the... Mothers of the Blind. Whatever, whatever the hospital. it is, the hospital up here. Because I tell you what, I hope their insurance is paid up or they got their 10 carry card or whatever their own because we're getting sick and tired of all this competition. It's getting very scarce. When somebody has to, he's been through about four partners this week and we keep putting him in the hospital. He's lucky he bounces back so good because he's so fat. But I'll tell you what, if he keeps on, he ain't going to bounce back no more. Any last closing comments, Callaway? Well, after tonight, after we put him in the hospital again, surely to God, he ain't going to find no more partners stupid enough to come see the extreme tag team wild side, and that's the bottom line. Uh, ex explain something to me, guys. How, how can the guys that can't even get a secured credit card afford wheels like this? This, this is a pretty good ride. Shut your mouth, Jack, while I slap you. Let's get back to the ring with more Southern Extreme action. Uh, we're back here, Jack Johnson, along with you, wrestling fans, back here in the locker room of Southern Extreme. You know, back when I covered the NBA and baseball and stuff, you had to have a press pass to get back in the locker room. But, uh, you know, in a professional locker room, I've never seen this skulls, crossbones. Uh, it appears the regulators have left something here. This is their mark. Maybe what I'll take me a little... Here, Jack what is... What Wait, it's the regulators. Give me this mic. Let me tell you something. Tonight, we got a problem, and we're here to solve it. The problem is, wild side, you jumped me by myself. It took two of you. Now I got my partner. Wild side, you're gonna jump my partner. I'm not around. How are you gonna jump a regulator and expect there's not gonna be no repercussions? No, you messed up, Slick. It goes like this right here. Hey, keep back. It goes like this right here. What you guys did and what you guys don't understand is you just brought an itty bitty knife to a big gun fight. We're gonna beat you down so bad it ain't funny. Now, one last thing before tonight we walk out this door and stomp you into the ground because it ain't gonna stay in the ring. It's gonna be on the concrete. It might be outside. It might be up against the back door. I'm smashing your head through. If you ever, ever put your hands on a regulator again, whether it be Psycho, whether it be Omega, man. Wild side, you just be at the ring. You get out of here. Hey, uh, we got to go to the uh, ring right now. Go, go, go watch the action. Get out. Thanks for letting me in the, in the locker room, guys.